materiality applies. How do we know what a material number is? How do we come up with that number? Uh, these are types of things we'll talk about later. At this point in time, we want to talk about the definition or the concept or the term of audit risk. Audit risk. Risk of auditor expressing a clean audit opinion when the financial statements are materially misstated. So the audit risk then is something that's always going to be present. We always want to note that there are there is going to be audit risk. And we're, we're always going to say that if they ask us, it comes down to this guarantee again. Is there a guarantee that you have eliminated all even material misstatements? No, because there is some audit risk. What's the audit risk? Risk of an auditor expressing a clean audit, good opinion. The audit basically clean, meaning there's no problem with it. The financial statements are clean. The management has indeed reported them in accordance with what they said they were reporting them. They have expressed the assertions that they said they were going to express in accordance with what other format they have said they were going to express it in accordance with, say, generally accepted accounting principles. So that would be the auditor, the risk of the auditor expressing that clean opinion when financial statements are materially misstated. That means they could indeed be misstated to the point at which a reasonable person might make a decision that would be influenced by the site by the error that has been in essence missed so there is still going to be audit risk related to that of course our goal within the audit is to get that audit risk as low as possible but again auditors never going to say that there's no audit risk all we can do is reduce the audit risk to uh, reasonable levels an audit provides reasonable assurance that the financial statements do not contain material misstatements so notice again the terminology what are we doing in an audit are we eliminating audit risk not at all we're not eliminating audit risk there could still be a material misstatement what we're doing is providing reasonable assurance again lawyerly type of term but that's that's what you're going to basically expect there are there are no guarantees within these types of things it's always going to have some type of of reason reasonability type of term here reasonable assurance reasonable assurance means that there is some risk that a material misstatement could be present in the financial statements and not be detected by a competent auditor so notice what that's saying it's saying hey the audit could have been done in a competent way and it's still possible that a material misstatement one that would influence someone's decision and be a mistake is there even though the the auditor was competent again the risk is going to be low we're going to try to keep that down to a reasonable level but we're never going to say it has been removed there's always going to be some audit risk.